The Great Ocean Road Coast Committee looks after our environment and the birds and animals that live here as well. I caught up with some of the members from the Great Ocean Road Coast Committee to tell us about the endangered hooded plovers and what we can do to look after them. Point Road night where we are here they have um, they're the most successful hooded plovers in Victoria so they, um, they breed really well but the problem is that they like to nest on the beach which is a really vulnerable spot for these particular birds and they're quite small so they go unnoticed often by beach users. We're working with Birds Australia uh, fencing off nesting sites putting up uh, signage to let people know that it's a wildlife refuge and uh, putting up signs also for keeping dogs out of the area, making them no dog zones. I think just having um, the signs and people constantly monitoring these plovers, people are becoming more aware about these animals and they're changing their behaviour. So even this year we found we've had more chicks actually fledging because of these activities. So it's really There's been two chicks that have fledged, which is quite good, doesn't sound like much, um, but they would have, say, had three eggs laid at each stage but only one would have made it so it's still a success in our mind. Last season it was something like 16 birds were fledged. Um, don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure that was about the, the right amount so it's not huge but um, hopefully in the long term we'll see some big increases. And if I'm pretty sure on the Gork website there'd be some information and also on the Birds Australia website so it's a beach nesting bird project and they'd, we'd be more than happy to have some more volunteers. Yeah. At Point Road Night, this is Debbie Meany for News Geelong.